and Mark Hagel. Extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. All right, everybody, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia is now being hit with another mass bleaching event. 60% of the coral are enduring severe bleaching right now. That's on top of 2016 when 30% of the coral there were killed because of bleaching. Now, this occurs when ocean waters are too hot for too long. This can turn coral white and it can kill them. Human-caused climate change is making these episodes a lot more common, so let's explain what's going on right now. All right, so let's take a look at the water temperatures across the Pacific Ocean. These are the cool waters near the equator. There's the United States right there. And here's Australia. Waters are very warm right there. They're enduring an ocean heat wave right now, and you can see it right there. Now, NOAA has these threat levels, and right now you can see alert level one, alert level two, all across most, at least, of the Great Barrier Reef, which is about 1,500 miles long. Things have been changing really just over the past few decades or so. Since 1980, major ocean heat waves are 20 times more common due to human-caused climate change. Just over the past four decades, major heat waves 20 times more common. And continued warming is likely in the next few decades to cause permanent marine heat waves. You can see the spike. It used to be about 30 days per year globally that we'd see these ocean heat waves. But take a look, just over the past decade and a half, that's jumped to 70 days per year. And here's the projection from a scientific study. We go from 70 around now to 275 ocean heat wave days per year uh, by 2050. And by 2100, it's 325 days per year. So this is when we talk about permanent heat wave in the ocean. This is what we're talking about. And because in the state of Florida, we have the third largest reef track in the world, Jim, this is something we really need to be concerned about because our ocean's heating up and we don't have too much reef left and it's likely, unfortunately, to get worse. And it's been ongoing for a while. We've talked about it before down near the Keys that it's an ongoing problem. And so yeah. it's one to watch. It's discouraging. It's very discouraging because everything that our, our economy also depends on it too. It's ecosystems and our economy. But that's climate. Right. You also cover weather. Yes, and we have the weather